Hello, and welcome to the Astrolabe tutorial series. In this video, I will walk through experiment settings options. After you have uploaded your FCS files and set up debarcoding, you will be directed to this experiment settings form. Here you can provide some basic information about your experiment, which will determine how your data is analyzed by Astrolabe. The experiment ID, created by, and created date fields were all assigned at the time the experiment was created and you will not be able to edit these. So the first selection you should make is the instrument used to acquire your data. As of this recording, your options are a mass cytometer, such as the Fluidime Helios, the Cytec Aurora, or another flow cytometer. Next, if you have applied staining for live dead cells, you can specify which channel contains that information here. For this experiment, I'm going to pick the Platinum 195 dye channel. For the tissue type, if you are using PBMCs, you can just select the default here. If you are using whole blood, you will want to identify granulocytes using CD66 or CD16. If you have a sample that contains non-immune cells, such as digested tissue, you should select the option to identify granulocytes and mark CD45 negative as debris. For organism, you can select either human or mouse. If your experiment used a different organism, or if you prefer not to use the human or mouse hierarchy, you can select profiling only. This option will use unsupervised clustering to analyze your data, and so you will only be able to view profiling level data in your results. The last option here is for labeling hierarchy. Many experiments are well suited to use Astrolabe's default labeling hierarchy. However, if your experiment requires a specific labeling hierarchy, we would be happy to work with you to create a customized option. Remember, you can always contact us at support at astrolabediagnostics.com. Thank you.